I'm Steve Denning. I'm a professional musician and music instructor. This is my studio, and these are my students. I'm going to prove to my colleagues and to all of America that I can take six middle-aged women who have never played music before, teach them instruments, turn them into a band, and take them to the top of the charts. Let's start with our, our A family chords. Okay. That's what we've been learning, right? Yes. So. Nice. You got your D. Wait a second. Where's your left hand? Can you can you play D no, with, with your, what? There's, there's a whole piano here. Hang on a second. So when you play, mm -hmm. the D is always in between these two keys, your root, right? You don't have to play like four octaves apart all the time. So what you can do is, while we're sharing the piano, just, just kind of use adjacent Ds. So use that D, use this D. Very nice. Now can you go to E? Whoops. Oh, close. There we go. That's my first part, is my transition. You know what the trick to that is? Is like, I mean, normally when you play music, you don't want to be tense at all. You want to be really loose, okay. right? Like a fighter, like you watch the boxes, they're always really loose, right? But at the same time, you want to have some rigidity in your fingers I, I know any piano player that would ever hear me say that would like smack me, like right? But I mean, you don't want to be like really tense when you're playing the piano, but the idea is if you play a D and mm -hmm. then you relax your fingers and then you open them and move again, it takes a lot of training. Is that what I'm doing? Well, kind of. Try keeping your fingers a little bit more rigid like this. See, I'm, I can pick up and keep my fingers a little rigid and just move that, that fingering over. See how okay. that's going? Yeah, that helps. Because if you go like this, and then you relax, right. and then you open it up again, that takes a lot of practice. Okay. You know what I mean? You might right. miss. It's like trying to hit a key from here. You might you might miss, right? Right. So now let's do this. Now that you have A and D and E mm -hmm. together, let's try putting them together in a phrase. So remember, oh a phrase is, is like a musical sentence, right? So mm -hmm. let's, let's try to take A, 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 then we'll go to D, okay? Okay. Then we'll play this D. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Three, four. A, 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 D, 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 D. Nice. And you're keeping your hand nice and rigid. I like that. Mm -hmm. And do you see how that helps? Yeah, that okay, totally good. helps. Now, let's try it with your left hand. Oh, okay. Now, this is the important hand that does a lot of the chording. A lot of times when you're playing, mm -hmm. this, as I knock the whole piano over, <laughs> <laughs> what will happen is this will play a chord and this. Right. This will be doing like a lot of the styling, right? Right. So this is going to be like the, the macaroni and cheese, and this is going to be like the seasoning that spices it up, right? Always food and knowledge. Dude, I'm hungry. Apparently. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so let's try that with the left hand. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, ready, go. Okay, close. Back. Relax. Sorry. It's okay. So when you play mm -hmm. your D. Middle right. finger is going to be there on the F sharp. Right. Okay. Thumb on the A. Just like that. Okay, stop for a second. One thing that will really help you is mm -hmm. to slow down a little bit. Okay. So remember that like your fingers are really like heavily controlled by your brain. If right. you cut off your fingers, they don't do anything, right? They just sit there. <laughs> so it's always a funny thought, right? So when you play, slow down and give your brain time to process what you're asking it to do. Because okay. you're asking it to move over a little bit, but if you do that really fast, it's going to be really difficult. So, okay. so start on A. Nice. See, so you had time to fix it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You can flip the script. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stop for a second. What you're doing is really good because you're playing notes that sound harmonious together, mm -hmm. but you're playing them like William Shatner talks. You gotta be really <laughs> careful. You're playing A, 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 E, E. E, e. And you, you gotta be really careful when you play it. I know it's funny, right? It's funny to think about, but when you play music, it has to be very smooth. Okay. And when you listen to the way that guy acts, mm -hmm. not only like when he acts, but as a human being, he like is really juddery when he talks. And so when you play, keep it really smooth, your transitions. 
See how it's nice and smooth? Okay. Does it sound like that when I play? Well, it did with your right hand, but uh -huh. just now, as you slow down with, with your left hand, it uh -huh. didn't. So let's try it. Okay. Let's try it again, and let's get it. Let's get it to be okay. smooth. Ready? Go. Nice. Bump it. All yes. right. That was good. All right. You gotta subscribe to our channel. Click the button. It's right there. It's no, right it's here. Not. It's up above. It's Eric. It's, it's, it's not up above. Eric, it's down, it's down there. It's right there. They're all short. It's, it's, up there. Here. it's over there. It's down oh. there. Did you, Did you see, see it? Did you see it? it? Everybody's yeah. short. Who's short? I'm all sure of you guys are short. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going?